Alright YouTube, so uh, today we'll be doing a really small little shop project here. We are going to be setting up this air tank to, uh, to serve as an auxiliary tank to my air compressor. So basically this is a 60 gallon Quincy air compressor and uh, by adding this auxiliary tank to our air system here it means that we'll go from 60 gallons of compressed air storage capacity to about 90 gallons if not a little bit more. And uh, what that means, of course, is that the, uh, we can run tools in here for longer before the air compressor kicks on. And since it'll go through less of its starting cycles, it'll last a lot longer. And uh, likewise, there's going to be a lot less noise for us here in the shop. And it's easier on the air compressor. And it seems like the, uh, the way to go here. Fire in the house! This is going to be awesome, 50% more air uh, for almost free. <clears throat> I got to run this in here nice and tight. Oh, can't wait for all the that's what she said comments in the comments. Arr. Sweet, that's not going anywhere. So here's the deal. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to see here. You got an extra air tank and then you take an air hose. In my case, some people use like, they, they go all out and use mostly copper tubing or something. Don't use that PVC stuff because as most of you guys know, if somebody makes air lines out of that, the plastic kind of degrades over time. And then one day it just, you know, goes boom and fills the area with plastic shrapnel. Uh, so yeah, don't do that. But I just used an air hose. That works fine. And uh, the deal with this is, like I said, it turns your, in my case, 60-gallon air compressor, that blue one there, into about like an 80 or 90-gallon air compressor. And it's really, really nice because you can run air tools for longer before this thing kicks on, which makes the air compressor itself last a lot longer. Uh, and also, when you're doing really demanding applications, like running a large pneumatic impact or a big needle scaler or something like that, it's real nice uh, if your compressor is a little slower because then you can run the tool for longer before you have to stop and, and wait. So yeah, uh, this mod worked out real well. I still have that auxiliary air tank. I'm still using it. It still works great. I'm really glad I did this. You know, like I said, it makes it a lot nicer to use air tools and, uh, and it also makes life a lot easier for your air compressor. So I highly recommend this mod. If you can find a, uh, a serviceable used air tank or, you know, even the new ones, there's some places like Surplus Center that used to sell new ones surprisingly cheap. I don't know if they still do or what they cost nowadays. Probably $11 billion like everything else. But if you can find a good serviceable air tank and add it onto your air compressor, like I said, you can run longer. Uh, it, your air compressor will last longer. It's just a cheap, solid mod. That's a good thing to do. I really like it. No regrets. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Highly recommended mod.